Okay, you guys, so this is our new barrier so that the kittens can't get through. So it blocks off this section so that we can have access to this, the towels, the linen, and all of that. And then also the, the restroom, bathroom, without having little kittens sitting right outside the door and having to either, like, throw something so that they chase it or pick them up or just try to, like, usher them out. So this has been really helpful. The only thing is the kittens... Do not like it. <laughs> this is what I'm waking up to today. Sleep like an I don't know. Okay, he's over there and he's like cutting down trees and fine, that's great and everything. But when you're trying to sleep and like he just keeps doing that, it's a little irritating. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing over there? Hi, babies. <laughs> Even Kiwi, who's on the thing, is like, the barrier is going to look. <laughs> Hi, sweet boy. She's so upset. All right, I'm going to Hi, kids. Hi, baby. <laughs> Poor baby. Mochi? Mochi. Oh my god, don't. <coughs> I gotcha. Oh, okay, there we go. Don't fall backwards down the stairs. And he still leans over the stairs. Oh my god. Oh, you cat. Okay, come on, guys. Here's a Reese and there's a Munchkin. Okay, come on, guys. I got a kitty posse. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with the Crimson of Grindelwald and the UK premiere just went up. They did a, like a live feed and all of that stuff and it was so much fun to watch. I'm so enjoying it. But I would do that with this one too. It's going to be in theaters here this Friday. Um, which I'm really, really excited about. I wanted to be able to see it Friday, but we won't be able to because, um, Andrew has to work. And so I really wanted to go with him and see it. So we're going to go on Tuesday, which is only a weekend after it comes out. So it'll still be fresh and new. I'm not going to look at any Twitter things. Hopefully everybody does what J.K. Rowling said and protects the secrets. Okay, you know that I started the camera, right? <laughs> Andrew went and got us Taco Bell for lunch, and he asked the lady if they had the Baja I, I Blizzy said, Blast. Do you guys have, I said, when she's like, can I get you anything else? I said, yeah, can I get a large Baja Blizzy Blast? And she goes, a what? I said, a large Baja Blizzy <laughs> Blast. And she goes, what's a Baja Blizzy Blast? I said, a large Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And she goes, oh, I thought you were saying Blizzy Blast. I said, I did say Blizzy Blast. <laughs> She goes, we don't have a busy a blizzy blast. I was like, it's just not a new blah blast. <laughs> not everybody understands your funny little like. That's like word, that's like though. going to anywhere that has barbecue sauce and be like, can I get that new Bartle Dew sauce? And then also, he got a little upset on the car right a little? over here. A little upset? Yes. Don't swear. Uh what part of me calling you screaming <laughs> says I was a little <laughs> upset? No, I was freaking peeved. Just because Christmas you think it's the thirteenth of November. There's it's never too early to have Christmas spirit. That's like that's like playing <laughs> freaking hocus pocus on March fifteenth. They should do that. No, they shouldn't. Hocus pocus is the. They amazing. should keep hocus pocus to one day a year. God. This is not like the chicken rail where you just Don't yell. even get me started on the chicken. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Ready, Andrew? I swear to God, Christmas words come out of your mouth. I swear to God, Simone. I swear to God. <laughs> you make sure you laugh too hard. Simone, I swear to God. I can't even do it. Did. I swear to God, Christmas words come out Jingle of your mouth. Jingle bell. <laughs> Talk about crazy. <laughs>
Let's just follow Andrew around all day and sing Christmas music. I swear to God, I'm gonna <laughs> break this plate on the ground. You would not. I will just shatter this. Jingle bell. <laughs> I swear to God, woman, you are trying. It's so fun to you me. are trying, not. woman. <laughs> Everything's wrong with Jingle Bells before December 1st! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You saying good morning? Or are you complaining about how much food is in your bowl? Huh? Which one is it? You want food in your bowl, huh? <laughs> the cats are just looming around like, why is everybody down here? What's happening? We're all putting in our subway orders. What do you want in subway mulch? Yeah, I want some tuna and some cheese. Reese, what do you want? Oh, I just want some pieces of purse. I would just like some pieces of purse, please. No, it's fine. You put your order? Coke? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Alright, you guys, we're on the way to Subway for, t for our lunch. Well, we're gonna take it home. But it is actually, as I said earlier this morning, it's actually cold this morning. It's actually winter weather. I'm actually wearing a sweater. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Oh my god. What are you, Andrew? <sighs> okay, anyways. <laughs> we're actually wearing like coats and everything, trying to keep warm. And, um, well, we don't have to really go out it's much it's today. Warm. It doesn't feel, feel like, like it feels like it's in the 40s or... I think it's because there's no sunshine. Probably. It's kind, of, but it's kind of like that perfect winter day. I know it's too early to decorate, but it's that perfect winter day where you would decorate for Christmas and have some like hot cocoa and watch like a Christmas movie. It's that kind of day. So I kind of hope it's like this on the day we decide to decorate for um, Christmas. This to me just says a perfect decorating stay inside bundled up day. Besides going to get um, Subway because I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know why I just decided today. I'm like, mom has a day off. I found out Alex has a day off. I'm like, I should just go and get Subway for everybody for lunch. And then dad had come home and I was like, okay, I can get dad some too. Then he had to leave right away and he was like, no, don't bother. But we're going to have mom's delicious homemade hamburgers for dinner, which just makes today even better. <laughs> Subway for lunch and hamburgers for dinner. It's the perfect meals for this kind of weather. Besides, like, you know, chicken noodle soup or chili. Something like that. I think hamburgers are good on the cold days, too. And all the leaves are falling off. But look at all the beautiful, like, I love when the trees look like that with the red. just looks so pretty. Which one is your favorite color leaf? Do you like the, the red one, or do you like the yellow ones, or like the orangish goldish one? I think I like the red one best. I like the bright red ones. I think those are so pretty. Oy, there's so many bumps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving and in the process also got us some delicious chips. So today's lunch is going to be pretty epic.
besides having Subway for lunch and doing a little bit of shopping, we pretty much had a pretty quiet Wednesday, which is actually kind of super nice. But my mom is actually going to make homemade hamburgers tonight, and she does it completely like from scratch, and she does her own recipes. So I thought it might be fun to kind of show you guys just a little bit of that. So there she is now. We're gonna show her you guys the hamburgers because she makes like literally the best hamburgers. A cooking juice. This is why I call cooking juice. You need to have a little glass with a little glass of Coke to make to have some cooking juice while you cook. Here's your cooking juice. <laughs> Put them in the pan. Just to get the size accuracy down before I start trying to flatten them. Flatten them. These are cooking, so she's going to do onion, which I mean, I guess technically are optional, but we always put them on there because they're really good. So this isn't part of the original recipe? Like the hamburger so recipe? Long, so I looked up online and I found hamburgers by Eddie. Mm -hmm. Or Eddie is, as we my family loves to. <laughs> <laughs> just to add something to spice up the hamburgers and then I thought, oh, well, I'm trying to just cut up some onions. But the way, it's just the way you make them, I guess. Well, I usually don't like onions. I'm usually the person who picks the onions off of the burger. But when you make this, I'm like, oh no, I need some onions on top of it. So put olive oil. Olive oil and then cut up an onion and fry them. Mom said, well, that's cooking. You cut the cheese and get that all ready to go. Okay, then she moves them all to this pan because they've shrunk a little bit and she's going to add cheese to it. Um, and then I can wash the other pan. And then wash the other pan. Mm -hmm. Just assemble them. You just get out the buns, put some put that, then put the onions on top and bacon if you like bacon, but I personally don't. <laughs> and I think that's it, right? Is that all you do? Look at these cute pictures that Andrew's grandma gave me. This is from 2007. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to watch the Blazers game and I am going to edit this vlog, catch up on some friends' vlogs, and uh, watch some other YouTube videos. We will see you for Thursday's video. 
We've got a lot of more fun things coming. A lot of more? Is that a, <laughs> a lot of more fun things coming your way. We're going to be doing plus some fun holiday videos. I'm going to do a Thanksgiving thing video record it sometime this week and it will be up next week and it's gonna be a fun one so be prepared and ready for that and we will see you